Hello everybody and welcome to another HitFilm Express 2017 tutorial. Today, we're going to be showing you how to export in HitFilm Express 2017. Today's tutorial will be rated 1 star out of 5 on the difficulty scale. So let's begin. Here I've got in the editor a bunch of clips, some music, and it's a pretty simple setup really. I've also got this composite shot which you may have seen at the beginning of this video. If you want to learn how to do this text, just leave a comment down below and I might make a tutorial, but that's for another day. There are many ways to export this. You can export this editor or you can export a composite shot, either one will work. And the simple way that you export is using these two buttons right here. This is export contents and this is export in and out area. So in the editor here, when I press export contents, it'll just export everything up to here, which is where all of my media ends. In the composite shot, it's pretty simple, it'll just export up to the end here. The second option is to export an in out area. This is a custom set area which you can export. So if I want to start exporting here, I can just hit this button or I on my keyboard to create an endpoint and go to the end place and just hit this button or O on my keyboard to create an endpoint. And now instead of exporting the whole thing, it'll only export this bit when I select to export the in and out area. The same applies for the editor. I can make in and out points as I wish. But I'm just going to revert that and I'm just going to quickly export the contents. So I'm just going to export the contents of the editor here real quick. Just going to hit this button right here, export contents, and it comes up with a dialog box. The editor timeline has been added to the export queue. Please switch to the export screen to begin exporting. So all you have to do is hit go to export, and then you move over into this fourth tab right here called export. It may look kind of complicated at first, there's no clear export button, there's a whole bunch of different tasks and presets, so I'm just going to take you through each little bit. First of all, the stuff on the left here is the queue. Now the thing that's different about this version of the exporting system in HitFilm compared to last year's is that we have a queue, which means we can export multiple things one after another without having to sit at the computer and hit export for each task. You can see that this is the task that we just uh, exported, the, the editor here, and this is finished, so it's a task that I uh, exported a while ago. I'm going to delete it because we don't really need it anymore, so I'm just going to select it and press delete. So these are our tasks. They lay over one another and we can set settings here, um, choose which format, etc. And we can set our preset here, which is kind of like the settings for the export. So I'm just going to go over to the presets right now. This is the right hand window right here. You'll notice a bunch of different presets. YouTube, uncompressed, PNG sequence, Apple ProRes, although in Windows you might have something different. It'll give you the format, resolution, frame rate, and comment. Now, you'll notice that this one is a custom one that I did earlier. I'm just going to delete this real quick. The presets are essentially predefined settings, which are good for specific purposes. So, for example, YouTube 1080p HD is the default, and essentially it exports an MP4 file, it doesn't export it to YouTube or anything, but it exports a 1080p MP4 file with the same frame rate as the source that is H.264 compressed for upload to YouTube. Which means that if your final result will be up on YouTube, this is a really good way to make sure it's compressed well for YouTube. Or you can just choose something like Apple iPad and iPhone which will export MP4, 1080p, H.264 compression which is kind of set up for Apple iPad and iPhone. Again, you might not have that one if you're on Windows, I'm on a Mac. And so the simplest way to export your project is to simply choose a preset. I'm going to go with the default YouTube 1080p HD. It'll show you the duration as well as the format that it will export in. And then just choose a destination by just clicking on it and then open up the folder where you want it to export. And then just hit start exporting. And you'll notice that it goes from starting and then it'll go through the progress um, and it will begin exporting and then it'll say finish when it's done. You'll notice I have quite a lot of stuff, so it might take a while. I'm just going to suspend exporting so I can talk about some other stuff. That other stuff that I'm going to talk about is creating your own preset. Because while these presets are really good, especially the YouTube ones, which I use pretty much all of the time, what if you want to really dial down in on what exact settings you want? 
well you can create your own custom preset so just go down to the bottom left hand corner of the presets window and just hit new preset and then you can choose a file type whether you want it to export as mp4 image sequence or mov and once again on windows you might have something different i'm just going to hit mp4 because that's the standard one really you can choose the name of your preset i'm just going to name mine right now you can also choose the comments that you know in the future what kind of a preset it's going to be okay so now we're going to get into all of the settings the dimensions are the dimensions of the video so this is 1080p resolution you can also change this to 3840 by 2160 for 4K or 1080 by 720 for 720p HD. Scale mode is the way you scale it so that if your project is in a different resolution to this export one, you can change how it scales. You can also choose the frame rate, which you most definitely want to keep from the source, which is going to be the same one as your project. And then the aspect ratio you should just leave at square pixels leave the profile at high, I'm not actually 100% sure what that does, and then the level is to determine kind of what the bit rates are. The bit rates are essentially the quality of your video. So a higher bit rate will mean better quality, a lower bit rate will mean lower quality. If you're exporting in higher frame rates or if you're exporting in higher resolutions, you probably want a higher bit rate. 200 is really, really high, but if you're exporting a lower resolution at 24 or 30 frames per second, then you can keep a lower bitrate. You can mess around with these yourself to see just how big the file sizes are afterwards, and also how compressed they are, to try and find the settings that you like. The level determines which bitrates are available to you, really. So if you choose a lower level, it'll only go up to 0.96 megabits per second. But if you change it to something like 4.2, you can get higher. Then you can come down to the audio, you can choose the audio codec, but if you've already chosen like a specific format, it'll already choose that for you. And then the sample rate, we should leave that at source, and then the bit rate, you can just choose a bit rate. Again, higher bit rate in kilobits per second is higher quality. And that's pretty much all the settings, at least for MP4. I'm not going to dive into the settings for the other ones too much, but once you've created your preset, just hit OK. You'll notice that the preset pops up here, and now if I can... Uh, let me just go ahead and export something else. So I'm just going to export the contents of this composite shot right here. I'm just going to go to export right now. I'm just going to delete this because, to be honest, I don't really want it. You can see that now I can choose this custom preset, which has those custom-defined settings, resolution, bitrate, format, all that kind of stuff. And if you have lots of different tasks, so I'm just going to add a couple here, add the in and out points of this. I'll just continue and then add the editing of this and then just just this little snippet right here, I'm just going to put that in as well. Not really for any reason, but just to show you guys that if you have lots of different ones, I'm just going to put this at YouTube 10 EP as well. If you have lots of different tasks, when you start exporting, it'll just go through this one, and then it'll go through the next one, and then the next one, and it'll just complete them all one by one. Also a good thing to note is that if you want to export with transparency, so for example, if you've noticed something like throughout this video, where I've got some videos like coming over like the difficulty scale and that kind of thing. I made those in HitFilm and I exported them with a transparent background. And to do that I exported them as ProRes 4444 which has an alpha channel in it and that way the video retains transparency. If you can't get this on a PC because well, you're running Windows then I think that you can get AVI uncompressed um, and that will work the same. And there you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If there's anything you're still having troubles with the exporting, I know I made a video about this for the previous version of HitFilm and the ton of comments with people having issues. If you do have issues, just feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll try to reply to them. If you did like this video, be sure to leave a like on this video. If you have friends who are having trouble with this, uh, then of course share it with them. And if you want more videos on HitFilm or any other kind of video editing topic, then just subscribe to my channel and you will not be disappointed. I will see you in the next video, stay shiny, bye.